Hi, David here, and the mission for today will be to install a microphone and an oxygen mask. Anytime you're flying over 10,000 feet, you're going to have to go on oxygen in an unpressurized aircraft. And I have a Type 14 oxygen mask. This was used uh, late 1943, I believe. Uh, it's kind of amazing that these are still available wrapped in their original packaging. And actually, the rubber is still pretty soft and supple. But to be historically accurate, uh, these masks don't come with uh, a microphone initially. So the microphone gets installed right in there. And the wires go through to the inside in here. Uh, the earlier masks were a constant flow mask. This particular mask is an on-demand mask or a demand mask that provided oxygen when you inhaled. The constant flow mask, I believe, did not have uh, a microphone built in and throat microphones were used at that time. This microphone uh, was found by Phil. It came from Holland. So these went from uh, Chicago to Holland and then back to the Pacific Northwest. This is an original microphone and in order to install the microphone these three screws have to be removed so you're going to need a uh, small jewelers type standard screwdriver to remove these screws and then with a real sharp knife just cut the very tip of this area off and lead the wires through here when the wires come through back to the inside then reattach the microphone. So that's what we'll be doing today. I'm looking at the instruction installation for the type A8B oxygen mask. This is a constant flow mask and it looks like there's instructions for installing a microphone in here too. So you don't necessarily have to have a throat microphone for the A8B oxygen mask. Got about six layers of masking tape underneath this microphone plug here. Just afraid I, I don't want to cut into the uh, mask so that's for protection. Just going to cut off a small end. Like they say in woodshop, always measure twice and cut once. So I'm going to cut off the smallest part possible. Might have to end up and come back and cut some more. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, that is a small hole. Okay, what I'm going to do is get the end of these wires, feed them in, but first I'm going to put a little soap on the end of this cord so it slides in easily. going in. I could grab it from the other side. Oh, maybe if I had smaller fingers, it's coming in through here. There it goes. You see that? Give a little more push from the outside. Oh, it's really going in easy. I don't think you need any soap for that. I'm just going to pull as much as I can through to make it easier to reconnect the microphone.
Okay, there we go. Now I made a little drawing because I always forget everything. So uh, the black wire goes to the right over here. The short white wire goes here. The longer white wire goes there. There's a washer. <coughs> Excuse me. Put the screws in here. There's a little lock washer. You would think the lock washer goes right under the head of the screw, but no. The white the washer goes underneath the terminal. So put the screw in first. And there's a direction. The uh, the terminal is uh, the low end is what goes against the microphone. So put the screw in the opposite end. If you can see that. See there's the low end the screw in this way then put the washer over it I know it's hard to see and my battery's about to die but that goes right right there I'm just gonna start it loose I'll tighten them later and I'll change batteries. Okay, I've got the terminals attached. Screws are snug down. Not too tight. Now I've got to take up the slack in this wire, so I'm going to pull on this outer cord. Bring the microphone in. You don't want to pull too much where you go past the edge of the uh, shielding from the cord. Then uh, this microphone gets pushed into this recess in the mask. Easier said than done. A little bit more. There, it's sitting in there. I don't really know how deep it has to go. Don't want to damage this protective covering that's over the microphone. You can see in there. Let me try to pull out on the rubber a little bit. Oh, it pushes in a little bit more. So right now the microphone is flush with the rim of the rubber. I think that's it. And the cord, you can see, I don't have too much cord sticking out, so the uh, the shielding on the cord is not sticking out beyond the. Uh, the actual mask. So there you have it. The ANB M C1 microphone and the A14 oxygen mask. 
was actually able to do some more pulling up on the rim of this rubber piece that goes around the microphone. I was able to get it around the microphone so it's holding the microphone in securely. There's no way it's going to slip out because there is a recess around the rim on the inside of the mask, if that makes any sense.